A father is telling his story to KXAN after his two-year-old daughter died from injuries she sustained while in foster care. Two-year-old Alexandria Hill was pronounced dead on Wednesday, two days after police picked her up from a home in Rockdale. Police say when they arrived, the girl had severe head injuries and she wasn't breathing. On Thursday, Cheryl Small, this woman Hill's foster mother, was arrested and charged with murder. Police say Small admitted to them that she threw the girl to the ground. Hill's father, who had not had custody of his daughter since late November, had this reaction. I was blown away to find out she was laying in a coma. There's, that's not what you expect, especially when your child's in state custody for safety. And now they're suffering more injuries and more heartache than they ever have any time in their life before that. Well, bail for Cheryl Small is set at $100,000. Death of a two-year-old girl in what police describe as a horrific case of child abuse. I'm Tyler C. Swarta. And I'm Terry Gruca. The Night Beats Chris Betts spoke tonight with the victim's father. Chris, it's her foster mother facing charges. That's right, Terry. And we do want to give fair warning. Some of the images in this story may be difficult to see. A woman trusted with taking care of a two-year-old is charged with murder tonight after that child was rushed to a hospital in a helicopter on Monday and taken off life support late last night. This evening, I spoke with the child's father about his last moments with his little girl. B. B. C. C. He never thought his visit with her Thursday would be his last. We got to sit down at McDonald's and have lunch and play for a while. And she got a little uh, Despicable Me Too toy in her Happy Meal, and she loved it. And she kept climbing up in my lap, and she fed me French fries. And it's a lot of fun. On Monday night, Joshua Hill's daughter, Alexandria, or Alex, as they like to call her, was rushed to a hospital with severe head injuries and immediately placed on life support. I, I can't, I can't even describe it. Alex was living with foster parents after CPS removed her from her parents' home last November for neglectful supervision. Hill admits they were smoking pot when their daughter was asleep. We never heard our daughter. She was never sick. She was never in the hospital. She never had any issues until she went into state care. For two months, Alex was placed in a home that Hill says was dangerous. She would come to visitation with bruises on her and mold and mildew in her bag. It got to a point where I actually told CPS that they would have to have me arrested because I wouldn't let her go back. In January, CPS placed her with this woman, Cheryl Small. Hill says things seem safe there. They listened. They, they paid attention when we had concerns. They tried to keep us in the loop. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Hill got the call Monday night that his daughter was in a temple hospital. They wouldn't tell me what condition she was in or what was wrong or what had happened, anything. The only thing they would tell me is I needed to be there. And when I got there, it was about 1 o'clock in the morning, and I found out that Alex was in a coma. For two days, they held out hope she would regain consciousness. But on Wednesday night, Alex was taken off life support. And Alex passed around 10.30 that night. Detectives say Small's explanation didn't match Alex's injuries, and on Thursday, they charged the foster mother with murder. Okay. Hill says he was less than four months away from getting Alex back, and now... He'll never get the chance. After police were called to Alex's foster home in Rockdale Monday, CPS removed another child in the home. Small was arrested today, and her bond is set at $100,000. Just heartbreaking.